This war which has been started by Putin first of all directly affects just the regular citizens of Russia. And as much as it pains me to say, there can be a worst case scenario for Russia, for my home country, after this war is over. And in today's video, I want to present you these options of how I think Russia might look in the future. So, Ukraine will most likely and inevitably win. But Putin will focus on some other small victories, something like Bakhmut or Donetsk, and with the help of extremely strong propaganda, he'll present this to the people of Russia as the victory of the country. They will say that the goals of this special military operation are achieved, the people are saved, and was never their intention to invade further into Ukraine. And so, just like this, Putin stays in power, and he is viewed as a successful leader who always keeps his promises. Took me several times to record this sentence, but uh, let's move on. Almost without a doubt, Russia will be heavily sanctioned. And in response to these actions by the West, Russia will almost completely cut all the relations with the developed world, limit its own people to travel, and pretty much lower the Iron Curtain once again. And you know what? In reality, in one way or another, it actually already started happening. Just for example, getting simple travel visas is getting harder and harder. International businesses, they start leaving the Russian market, and we start having our own substitutions, such as for example this tasty period instead of McDonald's. Russia will pretty much slowly but surely descend back into the USSR. With the only one difference is that the only country in this union will be Russia itself. Because other post-Soviet countries, they obviously understand how difficult it was to break free from the USSR and how many benefits it brought along, so most certainly they wouldn't want to go back. The Western media along with the websites will be shut down one by one, and pretty much with the complete absence of another point of view, Russian propaganda will get even stronger than ever. It might take just several weeks to influence the mindset of a closed-minded person, but at the same time it will take years to change the perspective of more liberal people. But if you are exposed to propaganda 24-7, inevitably more than 90% of the country will be turned into these Z patriots. And this is literally just dreams come true for Putin, because it is so much easier to control people like that. And in fact, you don't even need to tell them what they can or they cannot do, because they already know that everything Russian is good and everything Western, especially American, is bad. And yes, this includes everything – culture, movies, books, food, mindset, absolutely every single thing. And living under such tyranny and dictatorship is obviously no easy, with the very first problem being the people themselves. The most important and the integral part of the very human existence – freedom – will be taken away. Freedom of speech, freedom of choice, freedom to move around, and the freedom itself. And the second problem, once again, are the people. Even if and when the leadership of Russia changes, most likely this radical change will not happen in decades, and during this time people will simply get used to this way of living. It's always nice and cozy at home, I don't need to travel anywhere, I don't need to expose myself to other cultures, I'm simply good where I am. I don't even need to think much, because my government thinks about everything for me. I'll just continue living like this, will be the obedient citizen, you know, I just like it this way. People like this will live most of their lives in their own bubbles, where they will not be exposed to anything except their routines. And this is in the world of the internet, the world with the planes, which can literally bring you on another side of the planet in several hours. And even something as basic as restaurants, where you can try different cuisines without the need to even leave your neighborhood. 
And so when the leadership of Russia changes and they do a complete 180 turn on the foreign politics, it will still take years for the mindsets of people to get back to the normal thinking. We still have some people in Russia who 30 years later still dream about being back in the USSR. But there is still hope. And if you want to know the best case scenario for Russia after this war, please subscribe to my channel and keep your eyes open for my next video. Thank you so much and see you tomorrow.